<laughs> North Korea. Is it the world's premier travel destination? According to this British YouTuber, it sure is. Now, there's a little bit of spe speculation going around with a British YouTuber named Lewis Cole, who is in North Korea right now and trying to take a happier picture, trying to paint a happier picture about North Korea, a nation we know has been a dictatorship uh, with constant 24-hour surveillance, with uh, prison camps, isolation, with, uh, isolation, not having enough electricity for its citizens, um, famine, just just probably one of the worst places to live in uh, on this planet, and also my like biggest fascination with the country, like uh, my, the most fascinating country of all time for me okay. personally. I love North Korea, not in a uh, I love North Korea. Kim Jong Un is my supreme leader kind of way, but I'm fascinated in this day and age that like um, a, a whole country of um, citizens can think that a person is a god still. It's like almost like a monarchy, but not really. It's just a total dictatorship that um, passes down uh, the bloodline with like really interesting stories that they've painted about themselves, like hole in the one golfing, born under a double rainbow, these sort of things. You are so bored with the way I'm explaining no, North I Korea. Was, you should just... be like, this is interesting. I'm learning new things. And also North Korea seems very dangerous. Why is Lewis Cole being this like propaganda mouthpiece for the North Korean government? You know, this story is really interesting, Hassan, and I wish I was more familiar with Lewis Cole's work on YouTube to know a little bit more about his personality and what to expect. Yeah. But I, I, I'm not really surprised because we have seen North Korea sort of courting um, Western celebrities uh, trying to paint Dennis Rodman. Their, right. And the, well, that basketball exhibition game that it happened over there, and I feel like, you know, th we know that their supreme leader has a fascination with Western culture. Sweet. And, uh, oh, for sure. Right, and and with our technology and with how we communicate and whatnot. So um, this doesn't really surprise me, but it doesn't sit well with me knowing what we do know about how the government is run there um, and what the people of North Korea are going through um, and just and how they are so isolated and you you can't get their stories out there. So I'm uneasy about what Lewis is doing. I, I would be interested to hear more from him when he's back upon reflecting on his trip. Because I think right now, um, you know, it, it, I would imagine it'd be very easy to get sort of caught up in the excitement of being one of the few people. I, I would, maybe one of the only YouTubers that's ever been to North Korea and been able to vlog their trip to North Korea. This The access is, um, you know, unprecedented. So that's really cool. But yeah, I just hope that when he comes back, he can really examine about the, the policies that are um, implemented there because promoting North Korea as a wonderful utopia is, you know, dangerous. Yeah, and his concept is that he's focusing on the positive aspects of the North Korean experience, mm -hmm. such as the water parks. Now, um, this uh, goes along with, like, a lot of the different things that we see, like these destination uh, videos we see on the Internet, mm -hmm. and it's, like, very smarmy is what they call it. Like, mm -hmm. uh, oh, everything is positive. Like, let's look at the silver lining. Like, there's no fucking silver lining in North Korea, okay? <laughs> the only silver lining in North Korea is when you get to have two potatoes instead of one potato for that week. Like, I've seen countless amounts of documentaries of people that go in posing as... Um, like, or, or going in with doctors, like CNN correspondents have embedded with doctors that went in to the CNN country. CNN correspondents embedded with doctors? With doctors that, That's because, awesome. because, because the government is very, the government is very protective of who comes in. The government is very protective of Western influence because they have this propaganda machine that is constantly, constantly feeding millions of people false information about Western media, false information mm -hmm. about, um, other nations, false information about, uh, the like the history behind the, the Kim Jong-un, uh, Kim Il-sung, and um, Kim Jong-il like uh, dynasty right. that they've created. They are, they're, they're descendants of gods. Mm -hmm. So the people treat them as such. And it's really interesting to see that, right? Like, and, but um, it's disturbing as well. Because no, 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 it's, it, it's incredibly disturbing. Right, it's So just that's why I'm saying scale. like taking this, in, taking this like country that is uh, clearly, like where the citizens are clearly brainwashed and having a fucking miserable time and then being like the water parks are cool though is uh, like it, it, I don't know if it's on purpose that the North Korean government gave him access mm -hmm. and he did it just to have access 
I don't know if this person is genuinely being paid by the North Korean government or he's worried they have him at gunpoint whenever the cameras are not on and saying like, you better, you know, you better shoot a favorable video about our water parks and our awesome statues of our leaders. Mm -hmm. But it's, it, it's a little inappropriate. It's like going to Afghanistan after America, you know, reduced it to rubble and being like, man, look at all these Afghani kids who are not going to school today because their school was bombed to the ground. Like, they're having so much fun just, on the streets, you though. You blew so much air into my face just then. I'm just saying, You're like... You're upset, I understand. Like, it, it, it's like that. You, you can't go, like, oh, let's go into... Let's go into Karengal Valley. Oh, look at the beautiful mountain landscape here. Oh, there's another, you know, you uh, there's another bomb that just dropped. Right, on like, I, I don't think that we can equate North Korea with other countries that have gone, you know, that, that have seen hard times, because North Korea's situation is so hyper-unique to what what it is as a country. But it was, it was the aftermath of I'm, war that separated the two right. nations. Right, so but what, what they become, this, this, you know, as you said, this very indoctrinated brainwashed nation is so something we've never seen before. Um, but it does make me wonder what you were saying about, you know, what if there was some sort of a contract or an agreement that he had beforehand, and that's why he is, you know, making these videos so uh, positive. And, you know, you know me, Hassan. I... I love putting a positive spin on things. You oh, know, yeah. I, to a detriment. I really like, most of the time. I really like, you know, looking at the silver lining of things. Um, but this does, you know, worry me a little bit. And that's why I, I'm saying I, I'll be interested to see what uh, his view is of the country. Maybe when he comes back uh, and ha has just a little time to reflect on his experience as a whole and on just the history of the country and the history of the people that are there. Look, um, it, what's, but like I said, let's not, let's make sure that you guys understand that, like, access, especially as a Westerner into North Korea, or access in North Korea in general, mm -hmm. is completely, completely guided by the government. Like, e the, every step of the way, they're watching you, they give you a handler, you're not allowed to walk around freely in the country if you're not a North Korean. Even if you are a North Korean, I don't think you're allowed to walk around freely in the country in mm -hmm. most places. But... Um, so there, it is a, it is a, a possibility that this person is under duress. Like he is shooting these positive videos because he's forced to shoot these positive videos because he doesn't want to turn out like the other hostage situation that occurred in North Korea with the uh, American student that was mm -hmm. there, if you remember. Mm -hmm. So, and right now these are really troubling times because North Korea is dropping, uh, is nuclear testing in, um, in the Pacific waters. Uh, they are. They have this weird, tumultuous relationship with China, with Japan, with the nations surrounding them. And by the way, they've also applauded Donald Trump multiple times. Kim Jong Un loves Donald Trump. I did not know um, that. I yeah. just threw up in my mouth. Yeah. So it's it's interesting, and it could very well be that this person is just doing a really good job, acting like everything is fine. Like, <laughs> save me. <laughs> like I'm gonna live here forever, and they're gonna consistently make me. Uh, you know, shoot these videos because yeah. I'm at gunpoint. Well, let's see when he gets back, and let's, of course, hope that he has a safe return. Um, yeah. And by the way, guys, there are some awesome documentaries about North Korea. Definitely check them out. Just Google it. I can't remember the names right now, but uh, we'll That's also how awesome link. They are. Yeah, no, I can't remember the name, but like I explained the premise. Like, uh, anyway, we'll link uh, the YouTubers' videos about uh, about North Korea in the description box. Uh, leave us your comments uh, in the comment section below. I'm Hassan Piker. This is Grace Baldridge, and we'll see you next time on Podcast.